the federal government has expressed total commitment towards rapid implementation of safe school initiatives in the country's education sector. The Minister of State for Education, Dr. Yusuf Sununu, made this known while rolling out activities lined up for the 2023 commemoration of the International Day to Protect Education from Attack in Abuja, saying that every child should be able to learn in a safe environment where they can get the quality education they need to unlock their potentials. Under the coordination of the Federal Ministry of Finance, the Ministry has submitted a strategic plan for, implement, for implementing the Safe School Initiative. All our effort will be geared toward implementing the Safe School Policy for all. And that is why it is the theme of this year's uh, uh, commemoration. This is to create awareness on the existence of national policy for safety, security, violence-free schools, especially for states, local government, educational institutions, civil society organizations, the military, and general public to collaborate and operationalize the guidelines that have been already developed. The activities of this year's commemoration will be taking place before actual date of September 9, which falls on Saturday. Thus, free activities include playlets, dance, drama, poetic editions, quiz competition, and speak out based on the based on the theme. The presentation by learners and expected emphasized the need for collaboration and focus on the school safety policy for implementation for, for the implementation guidance by all stakeholders. We know that safety is a collective responsibility of all learners, parents, teachers, relevant government agencies. The Federal Ministry of Education in partnership with relevant stakeholders have put in place various strategies to deal with this attack. For us of upholding the right of education and its continuity in emergency situation, Nigeria ratified the Safe School Declaration in December 2019 and developed a school safe policy. The policy conspicuously highlights the strategies for emergency preparedness in educational institutions, measures for harm reduction, stakeholders to, con uh, to contact for help in case of imminent attack, deterrence of state and non-state armed groups from using education institu institutions and procedures to ensure that education continue if the attack is inevitable. The ministry has developed and will continue to develop learning centers in internally displaced IDP camps. As part of the National School Safety Response Coordination Team, Led by Nigerian Security and Civil Defense Corps, the ministry continues to provide relevant information on threat assessments to our school and at all levels.